Welcome back, boys. I've recently had the privilege of having a conversation with somebody very successful who's built their dream lifestyle down to a T in every aspect of their life. And we sat together for 20 minutes at an event and went through certain aspects of my life that are important to a man. Your health, your relationships, your brotherhood, your lifestyle. And I sat with him and told him about where I was currently and where I wanted to be in certain areas of my life. And he listened to me and he turned around and said, Jack, you've got total freedom in everything that you do. The only thing stopping you from being where you want to be is yourself. I tried to argue for a second, so it kind of pissed me off a little bit. I said, no, no, think about it. This thing, this person, I've got to stay here for this and, and do that. He said, no, Jack, you don't have to do any of that. You, your life is entirely up to you. It's entirely in your, in your hands. And I took that information and acted on it. And I broke down my own imaginary limits. And it's now an exercise that I've been doing with new members of the new elite. And it's made me realize the majority of us are not contained by actual limits, by things that stop us. We are only contained by ourselves, by things that have been programmed into us, the way we should act, but we don't need to. Totally imaginary rules that we play by, that once you get rid of them, you can really start to take control of your life. So I'll run you through a quick story. I've been spending a lot of time in five-star resorts because I've been traveling a lot. And why would you not stay in the best places if you can afford it? So a realization I've had is the five-star resorts around the world at peak season are full of people I would call the living dead, which is unfortunate. That's not a nice way to be living dead because that means you're pretty much soulless and just wandering through life. And I meet a lot of guys that have their two weeks of freedom for the year. Two weeks of freedom that's got an undertone of quiet desperation of the fact that it's bittersweet they can't enjoy it because they know they've got to go back to a life they don't want recently i was in bali and i was at one of the nicest hotels the kapinski in bali and i was in the sauna with a guy and it's a conversation i have a lot but i i, I hear it all the time and this time it, i really realized it and i listen to guys go on and on about everything they're contained by oh i've got to go back yeah i've got me here with the missus she won't stop nagging me can't last forever, can it, these holidays? They always end too soon and back tumbling down to reality. And everything he said to me about why his life wasn't the way he wanted it to be, why he had to go back, why he was stuck in a miserable job, how he kind of didn't like his wife anymore, all of that was under his control. And the only thing that was stopping him was the fact that his mind is shackled, that he is under his, he's in a self-imposed jail cell. And if you look... <laughs> There's me. Oh dear. What was I thinking? I was really quite a quite a uh, an odd looking fella back then. Most men in the West are completely free. If they actually think about it, they can live a life of complete freedom. Nobody can tell you what to do. If you let go of let go of all the social fucking nonsense that you have in your brain that's stopping you from doing what you want, the judgments and the things you should do with other people and the people that rely on you. And if you just let all of that go and be selectively selfish for your own life, you'll realize that a lot of this stuff is limits you put on yourself. The nine to five job. Easiest way to never get stuck in a nine to five job is not to take one. But what about the judgment from my parents, my family? They want me to get a stable income. If you get a stable income, if you get a nine to five job, that just becomes one of the shackles on you. If you never let yourself to have it, if you have to make money yourself, create a business, an entrepreneurial venture, self-employed, freelancing, something online that allows you to travel, you'll never become shackled in the nine to five. That's complete nonsense. That's something you put on yourself. That's something I put on myself. Houses, mortgages, car payments, weddings, relationships. All of this as a young man is programmed into you as something that you should do. You've got to get on the mar housing market. You've got to get a good car, good education, You've got to get good relationships. You should get married and have children. All of that is nonsense unless you want it at those certain times. So most of the limits that I see guys with is they can't have any freedom in their life so quickly after they finish school because they take on a nine to five. They chain themselves into a mortgage, car payments and a relationship that they're not 100% happy with. But if you look at all of those decisions, the most beautiful thing is you can reverse them all. They're all self-imposed jail cells on your life that you have the power to change 
And even, even guys with freedom, even myself, who already had freedom, I was doing it just for how other people might feel. I've been afraid to become successful, to become more successful, to make more money because of how it might make other people feel. And you have to realize as a man that none of that matters, that you have to be selectively selfish to make the best life for you and become the happiest, best, most successful version of yourself for the people around you so you can help inspire and break other people out of this mindset. The phrase live fast, die young has always been something I've said. Because for anyone who doesn't know me, I'm a little bit of a wild character. I've always done things not by the book. I've always made crazy choices. And I've done some pretty insane shit in my life, which I won't disclose on this video. But anyone who knows me knows that I've kind of lived by the live fast, die young. And then recently I realized I don't want to die young. Oh, my life's good. I'd like to live for a long time, but I still want to live fast. So I've replaced it with live fast, don't wait. The mentality in your mind of do what you want to do now. Just find a way to do it now. Get the plan in action now. Do not wait. One of the biggest lies that you're sold as a young man is that if you do your time, if you wait long enough, eventually you'll have that life of freedom when you're older. Buying into that is the worst possible thing that you can do. And the more even now I'm still into my mind, why can't I have this now? Why am I waiting for this? The quicker I've achieved the life I desire. I've made huge bounds, big leaps and bounds in my business over the last three months just because I decided to stop waiting. I was like, what am I waiting for? Waiting for others to catch up? No, I don't think so, let's just go after it. And sure enough, things shoot through the moon and you start to have the, the life that you really want and deserve. There's two types of people, takers and waiters. Takers take what they want. They believe the, the life they desire is out there waiting for them and they just go and fucking take it. They start taking it today, now, they get after it and they take that life and there's waiters, people that believe that the, the good life is coming to them in a certain amount of time. If they do enough years of hardship, that eventually they'll get what they want. This video is to tell you to take conscious control of every aspect of your life, learn to be selectively selfish and go after the things that you actually want. Maybe you're with, this is an example I'll give you because I've been through it. Maybe you're with a girlfriend right now and she relies on you and she loves you and there's nothing particularly wrong with the relationship. But every night you go to bed and, you, and you're laying in bed and you're thinking, wow, for some reason I feel trapped, I feel uncontent, I feel like there's something more out, there's something more out there for me. I love this woman, but it's not the right time for me. And a lot of guys will ignore that feeling, they'll stay in that relationship and they'll end up in a resentful and horrible marriage that ends up imploding down the line. Whereas a man who's selectively selfish will understand that how he feels actually matters rather than the way that everyone around him feels, how he feels about his lifestyle actually matters and he'll do something for himself and he'll break up with the girl even though it makes her sad, even though it's a load of hardship, even though they have to get a new apartment and he'll find a new, he'll find a new realm of freedom. And I've done that in my life multiple times and it's one of the hardest things you can do, but you have to be selectively selfish so you can become the best person for everyone around you. So how do you actually do this? How do you break out? I've mentioned this many, many times on other videos, but I'll say it again. And this is how I've been starting when I do our, our first call together with the new elite guys um, when they join. Get clear on the life that you actually want if there was no limits. If limits didn't exist, monetary, relationships, commitments, imagine none of that existed and get clear on the life that you actually want to live and then realize there are no fucking limits. The limits are all self-imposed because you're worried about how someone might think about the things that you do and then realize you're gonna die and so are they and none of it really matters, so go after what you want. Write this down to a T, write it down with incredible detail. If you wanna do that with me, there is a dream life video. You just type in Jack Hopkins dream life. It will come up, run through the exact template I put together. This is what I did when I first got to Thailand. I wrote down exactly what I wanted from my life, where I was gonna live, what the bed sheets were like, the shower I have in the morning, the view, the girl next to me, the truck, the motorbike, everything down to a T, the money I make, the job that I have, the people I'm around. My life looks exactly how I planned it. And the reason why is because I got crystal clear on a vision and then it allows you to find a path there once you know exactly what you want. All you do after you found found that, exactly what you want, is you reverse engineer to your current moment. So maybe that's two years down the line and you just reverse engineer all the way back to create an action plan, dial into something you can do now after this video right now straight away and continue to do every day. And you have some fucking balls and you start to say no to things 
and take control of your life. Somebody says to you, oh, will you come help me, come help me clear, uh, move out of my apartment? And, but this weekend you're meant to be working on your side hustle, your business. And you just say no. You don't explain yourself. You just say no to that answer because you're going after your own thing. It's things like that. Have some balls. Write down your plan. Write down what you want. Say no to things. If you're at a stage where maybe you've got money, but you're not living the life that you want, and you want to join other brothers around the world who are breaking out and becoming free and helping each other excel across all aspects of life, check out New Elite below. Go click the link. Have a message with me. We'll see if you're suitable for the for the gentlemen's club. And I look forward to meeting you, speaking with you, and and sort of conquering the conquering the globe together. So, boys, it's been a pleasure. Great to see you all again. Have another video, two more videos this week, three a week, as I promised you. Got plenty in this brain that needs to come out. Spent a long time working on business and other things that I haven't been making videos. So, so much that I've learned that I'm going to share with you. And I'll see you boys all on the next one. Whoop out! Whoop out!